G'day everyone, Adam here from Benito. Behind me, we've got a brand new 500 Sports Tiller Steer. Gonna give you a quick walkthrough of Greg's boat. Alrighty, Greg's boat is rolling on a 1500 kilo Aussie alloy trailer. So these are made locally down here on the Gold Coast. Um, we, we, we highly recommend these with our boats. Uh, they drive on, drive off, or load and unload, super easy. Next of the hull, so you got a five meter hull from where the engine mounts to the bow, just over a two meter beam. Um, you got a 600 mil freeboard inside, uh, and then you got a super deep V with a nice deep V in the bow, and a 13 degree average dead rise at the transom. So a good compromise between um, performance and stability at rest. Um, they cut through the Morton Bay chop really, really well, these things. Uh, you can take these offshore or go crabbing up in estuaries. You can do literally everything in this boat. Up in the bow, we've got the two keel guards. Stainless one down below, a uh, nice big bow roller, nitric motor mount, nice big anchor hatch. This boat's fitted with a base electrics package, so I've got the nav lights, all four cleats, these are all pop up, very really nice feature. We've got four heavy duty rod holders fitted in this boat. Lower end sounder package, we'll go into that in a second, but coming down the back, we've got a brand new F70. These are really good um, performance, great fuel economy, and um, great value of these motors. We get unbelievable fuel economy. I've taken one of these with a 70 um, over to Tangaluma and back to use one tote tank of fuel, so great on fuel, these things. Down the back, we've got a three-in-one transducer down here. Transom steps are fitted to this boat as well, to make getting it out of the boat nice and easy at the beach. I'll jump up on inside and show you some more features. Alrighty, we're going to start walking forwards. You see the amount of space you've got in this boat. It's absolutely massive. A huge anchor well here. Electric motor mount, so easy access to your anchor well and your motor mount. Coming down inside, look at the floor space in this boat. It's absolutely huge. You roll swag out on here or pile your crab pots in here, no worries at all. Two big side pockets for all your bits and pieces. Four rod holders. We're going to have this boat back soon to fit a bait board uh, to it. down the back you've got a nice big seat over here on the starboard side uh, move this forward so you can see it um, you can see how easy that is if you're sitting here great place to uh, hang on to got your key start your safety switch here forwards reverse um, this is your trolling mode controls here and then down here this sort of switch here controls how hard your steering is are so you can really loosen it right up when you're in the marina or you can really stiffen it up when you're out driving this on dry straight. Take that pressure off your arm. Coming down in here, we've got the nice big build system. Fuel filter with water separator in there. Tons of space, batteries in here. See there? Battery isolator switch there. With all, it's all recessed in, so it's nice and flush. In here, we've got a nice big bait tank. Over this side, we've got our six-way BP switch panel. Fuel, fuel gauge here, this boat's fitted with a 120 litre tank. We can fit a 150 litre tank. And here, we've got uh, Greg Sounder. So, Greg's offered for a Lowrance Elite FS9. Touchscreen sounder and GPS combo with the three-in-one transducer on the back uh, with the ram mount. So, you can turn this anywhere you want, anywhere in the boat when you're fishing or prawning or crabbing, whatever you're doing, you can change it to move it however, any angle you want. Make fishing nice and easy. There we go. And then obviously a cover to keep your screen protected. Really. Thanks for watching guys. If you too would like to see yourself in a boat like this, make sure to give me a call 0426 260 We build the boats direct from the factory. So if you call in to inquire about a Benito, you will deal with me through the whole process. So I send you photos of the builds as we progress. Uh, we do five meters like this one in a set tiller steer and center console, 560, same thing. We can do them in tiller steer and center console, or side console. Then we go up to 620 in the center console and the express. And then we do the 660 in both center console express as well. I'm in the final stages of the plug work on the 760. So we're about to start molding that, which is very, very exciting. Thanks for watching guys. Make sure to like and subscribe. We'll see you out in the water.